Hello and welcome to LearnPythonTutorial.com and today in our Python tutorial we're going to talk about Python comparison operators. So we can compare the left side to the right side. We see if it's greater than or less than or equal to or uh, not equal to. So let's go ahead and take a look at uh, equal to. So the equal to is equal equal not just equal 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 five. And this will return a boolean to us, true or false. It's true. How about five equal oops, equal to six? And it's false. How about if the left side's greater than the right side? Let's do five is greater than four. True. Alright, so right here what we do is five and wherever the opening is, you can always remember the opening, I remember this from grade school, eats the bigger one. So we want the bigger piece of the pie. So, 5 is greater than 4, true. How about if we do 5 is greater than 6? It's going to return false. Alright, we can do it to the other side also. We can do 5 is less than 6. And it's true. And the same thing, oh, the greater than the mouth is eating the bigger piece of the pie. So, how about 5 is greater than 4? Or, yeah, false. So, um, we can also do not equal to. We can do 5 not is like this with the exclamation point and the equal sign. 5. Or let's do 4 first. 5 is not equal to 4. True. Let's do 5 not equal to 5. You get false. Um, we can also do greater than equal to or less than equal to. So let's do greater than. Let's do 5 is greater or equal to 4. True. 5 is greater than equal to 5. True. 5 is greater than equal to 6. False. So that's pretty simple, right? And we can do it to the other side also. We can do 5 greater or 5 is less than or equal to 6. True. 5 is less than or equal to 5. True. 5 is less than or equal to 4. False. Alright, so that is comparison operators in Python. Um, they're pretty simple. But we can also... Um, hold on one second. Sorry about that. I had to pause the video for a second. Alright, so we can also chain a bunch of them together. A bunch of comparison operators together. So we can do let's say I'm not going to be on the 10 is greater than 8 which is greater than 6 which is greater than 4 which is greater than 2 which is greater than 0 hit return true alright um, we can say we can also do 10 is greater than 8 and 7 is greater than 6 now this will return true if both sides of the end statement are true. So you return true. All right. Um, so chaining these together gives us more flexibility. We can, you know, check a bunch of uh, objects and see if they're greater, less than, equal to, greater than, equal to, less than, equal to, or not even equal to. So comparison operators, you will use them a lot in programming. You will get very used to them. And as we move on, we'll be using them too when we start building more and more programs. So if you have any questions, leave a comment on YouTube or on our website at LearnPythonTutorial.com. And we will see you in the next tutorial.